heard it many times. Violence in Louisville and across the country really is skyrocketing. We've talked to police and federal investigators, but we hadn't talked to some of the people behind the problems until now. Now, these two men admit they've caused serious problems on the streets of Louisville, both now reformed and reclaiming their lives. But Uno used to be a gang member, and Kanan says he's partially responsible for Louisville's drug problem. I sat down with both of these men to discuss Louisville's history of violence dating back to the early 2000s, how they were able to get out and stay out of trouble. My message would be that right now it seems you, see, you have a sense of hopelessness, but that sense of hopelessness, what it does is it fuels the destruction within you to go out and, and do something because you feel hopeless. What you have to do is internalize that and make it a motivator. It's hard, you know, and I don't know what it's gonna take, but I, I wish we all just would come together and realize that we, we not each other's enemy. You know, we, we not, we just was, we lost, you know, and we hurt and uh, only people that can change that is us. Coming up tonight on WHS 11 at six o'clock, we're gonna ask both of these men who used to be part of the problem to explain the problem. From drugs to gangs, we're taking an inside look at the city's spike. And then at 11 o'clock on the night team, these men changed their lives for their kids and their families and for themselves. Their messages to others who may be looking to get out.